Hi, this video is to show you how to set up a fixed earning or a scheduled earning to go on someone's paycheck every payroll. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, log into Scissortail and go to your employee's record. <clears throat> I've gone to Josh Bronson's record in my case and we want to go to the payroll tab and then go to the earnings widget. So to schedule an earning for him, this could be any earning that he's going to get on every paycheck, not just things that are associated with hours. So let's come in and click on the three dots and say add a new earning, and then we're going to choose what that earning is going to be. Maybe it's conference or training, or maybe we want to, um, let's, let's look at, I'm going to put it down as a personal time. It could be a contractor time. Whatever, whatever you need it to be. And when you select the earning, let's look again. Mm -hmm. Cell phone reimbursement, that's better. We'll say okay. And um, so you'll say when you want it to start. If you're going to have it go on forever, we're not going to put in an end date. It's not required because there's no little red star next to the end date field. Next, we're going to fill in the settings, and so I'm going to give a flat amount every payroll for Josh. Maybe in his particular instance, he has a very super special uh, cell phone plan, and so let's say he gets uh, $250 a payroll for that uh, cell phone reimbursement. We can do that here, and in this earning, if we want to have it uh, applied to certain cost centers, you can set those up here and every time he gets this earning from this scheduled process, not one that you just type in on the pay statement, but if it comes into the pay statement as part of the, uh, uh, the scheduled earnings, then you will see it will always go to whatever you designate there in the cost center. So now that we have that set up, um, then we can actually see that Josh will have this come out of all of his uh, pay statements going forward. So now when we look at Josh's next pay statement, when it's created, you can see the reimbursement for cell phone comes in automatically as $250. We know it was automatic because all of these blue lines are the ones that were scheduled either earnings according to this top line or deductions, uh, which would be these following lines. All right, that's all there is to set up a scheduled earning on a per payroll basis. You can do this with regular earnings. You can do it with um, whatever earnings you have in your system. So uh, if you wanted to designate it, instead of using regular, maybe you use contractor earnings or something of that nature, that can be done there as well. All right, if you have questions, definitely reach out to the CS3 uh, support team.